Today we're gonna unbox this Sigma 24mm f3.5, an unusual f-stop number, DGDN contemporary version for Sony E. And let's just unbox it, I don't know what to say about it. I think it's a really a great lens because I bought it for, uh, it's because it's compact and I think it's a really great focal length for street photography, which I really like. So without further ado, let's dig inside the box. So let's begin. Thank you for paperwork. Two years warranty, actually, which is really good. So this is the lens. I think this is the lens. And this is some accessories, and that's actually it. So yeah, go away box. So let's start with the main event. So this is, well, it's actually, it's really heavy for, for the size of it. Um, and it's, it's, it's metallic, it's made of metal. It's really cold and it's really like, it feels tough. It feels, I would say even premium for the price. And uh, here is the plastic cap that comes with it. And I believe here we should have a magnetic cap. So uh, what we have here, not too much actually. So a C for contemporary, uh, a switch from uh, autofocus to manual focus an aperture ring which is clicked so we cannot uh, so there's no switch to de-click the aperture and let's ASMR minute uh, yes that's actually satisfying so this is a nice uh, damped click and it's not too tough it's not too loose so it's okay and the focus ring is well this is really smooth. Yeah, it feels premium, definitely. And what kind of actually, uh, it's a 55 millimeters uh, filter thread for any of you who will use some filters with this lens. So this, yes. And this is the accessories. And this is, uh, oh, this is the magnetic cap. And this is the lens hood. Oh, and it is metallic too. Wow. And it's like the texture. That's really nice and satisfying. Uh, but first, let's see what kind of cap this is. Uh, well, it's like... Well, it's really soft right here. So let's try it on. This is the plastic one. And... <laughs> Damn it, it's already... Oh, yeah. Now that was satisfying satisfying sound and feeling and does it come off easily well i don't want to shake it too much because well you should not shake your lenses and yes i think i'm gonna go with plastic one because well uh, this is really nice and it feels nice but well those are really cheap and if i damage it it will be easy to replace but this one well i don't know Maybe, but it's good to have. So thank you, Sigma, for including this. And this is a lens hood. Let's attach it. Oh, yeah. All the clicks about the, this lens are really satisfying. I don't know how to describe it. And yes, it feels sturdy. It feels good. And so let's try it backwards. I think it should work. Does it work? Yes, it does. And that way you can store it, so it's really so it's flush right here, and it's uh, really portable. Yes. So you know what? Let's try this on on my A7 III. So this is 16 to 35 f/4 with plastic, plastic, uh, and this is metal. And this was, I think, twice the price of this lens. Oh, and see, well, while I was attaching the lens, I accidentally moved the aperture ring and it was on f22. So we see. And this is, yes, and this is really portable. Like this? It's, it's nothing. Uh, I, can, I can probably fit it 
inside this. So this is a uh, three liter sling by Peak Design. It's the smallest sling that they offer. And it's really good for like, you know, uh, very minimal gear. And yes, it does work. So this is my 7.3 and here's uh, maybe another pocket for my action camera and for many like other stuff. So see, this is really portable and this is a really great lens. So without further ado, I'm gonna go and shoot a little bit um, with this lens. So I'm not gonna make a ton of pictures, just uh, like a few pictures to test this out. And I will show you the test, the test pictures right after this clip. So I'm back from my photo shoot with this Sigma 24 and I managed to take maybe 30 to 40 photos, but right now I'm gonna show you maybe five. So the first one will be without any corrections applied and the second one will be with lens corrections applied in Lightroom. So without further ado, let's jump in. And this is the first photo. So uh, what, I've mentioned, what I've noticed about this lens is that it has a tiny bit of vignetting. Uh, just, well, it's just a tiny bit because with one click of a button in Lightroom, um, the Lightroom will correct this all and it will be like nothing, nothing happened. So this is the photo before and you can see all the technical stuff down below in the corner. So this is an uncorrected photo and now it's going to be corrected with my magical click and it's corrected now. So as you can see, it was uh, like the vignette, vignette is now gone. And it was, uh, I think it's called pincushion distortion. And yes, just a tiny bit of pincushion distortion because, well, with the same click of uh, in Lightroom, it is now corrected. And this is now a really good photo. Um, so what else? And 24 millimeters uh, is really good for street photography because you can fit a lot. Like 24 is like a really good, uh, 24 millimeters is a really great focal length for street photography and well you can fit a lot in your shot and f3.5 uh, like at first I thought that it will bother me but actually it does not because look at the shutter speed down below in the corner it's uh, 1 over 400 of a second at 3.5 and I was probably blowing out some skies actually in this photo so f3.5 like uh, it lets a lot of light in so this was my like concern but now it's not so this was the first photo so here is the second photo as you can see the same thing actually applies so it has a little bit of pincushion distortion as you will see in a moment when i'll show you corrected version and well a little bit of vignetting yes uh, but this photo actually shows less of vignetting, I think. So, and this is the corrected version. So nothing actually wrong with this photo. Everything is perfect. And let me tell you that this lens is amazingly sharp, like overall. Uh, so first of all, it's uh, like 1000% sharp in the middle. And it's just uh, the sharpness slightly falls off in the corners. And the third photo that I'm going to show you with and without the corrections. So again, uh, all of the things that we've seen previously, a little bit of vignetting and a little bit of just maybe just a tiny bit of distortions because I do not see actually any geometric like imperfections. So the straight lines are straight and this is the corrected photo. As you can see, yes, the geometry just changed a tiny bit and the vignetting now is gone. So I don't see like anything bad with this photo. And uh, I'm going to show you two more photos. Those are with filters and uh, like they are edited, heavy, heavily edited. I just uh, want to show you like the things that this lens is capable of. So this is a really close up photo of a uh, tire uh, wheel of a Mercedes and I just want to show you that uh, this lens is really sharp because look at all of those details on the rims all of the uh, like on the tire on the asphalt down below and well there, there is no sharpness applied so I just changed the colors changed curves a little bit and well this is the result I think it's really amazing so and the last photo for today this is a uh, photo, wide photo, that I've taken in uh, a cathedral uh, in Moscow. 
And just again, I changed some colors, a little, applied a little bit of uh, denoising in camera, uh, not in camera, in Lightroom, because it was shot at ISO 1600. By the way, today, uh, as I was making this video, Sony announced the same 24 millimeter prime, but it is f 2.8. And it's really a um, good competitor to Sigma lens. But I think, and the pricing, actually, I think the pricing is really close to the Sigma. So if you want a native Sony lens, check this out. But I think if you are more on a budget side, uh, because I think that Sigma is just a tiny bit uh, less expensive. So go ahead and buy a Sigma lens. Great lens overall. I'm really very happy with the result. And uh, I will leave a link to this lens if you want to purchase it down in the description below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's been fun and I will see you in my next video.